Welcome to Faith and Wellness. And together we continue in this journey of learning about Bible verses, about love. And today the focus is marriage. God created the institution of marriage. Bible verses about love show us the importance of marriage and how to be a loving spouse through commitment and appreciation. The Bible is the true source for the definition of marriage and the roles of husband and wife. Whether you're looking for a scripture to include in your wedding vows during the ceremony or looking for verses to renew the love in your marriage. This collection of Bible verses about love will provide excellent encouragement and inspiration. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the of the wife as Christ is the head of the church his body of which he is the savior now as the church submits to Christ so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything husbands love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her to make her holy cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless in this same way husbands have to love their wives as their own bodies he who loves his wife loves himself after all no one ever hated their own body but they feed and care for their body just as Christ does the church, for we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church. However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself and the wife must respect her husband Ephesians 5 22-33 Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them Colossians 3, 18, 19. He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18, 22. I am my beloved. And my beloved is mine, son of Solomon, A3. I found the one my heart loves, son of Solomon, 3, 4. And of course, I added a little heart right there. You are all I need. If I had to live my life over again, I find you sooner so I could love you longer. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Those couples looking at each other as they're coming out of the church, out of a Catholic church. Look at that, that couple. <laughs> Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. 
she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Genesis 2, 22, 24. A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Proverbs 31, 10, 12. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death, is jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorn. Song of Solomon 8, 6. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Song of Solomon 8, 3. Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone, though one may be overpowered? Two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Ecclesiastes 4, 9, 12. This beautiful married couple. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what a what God has joined together, let no one separate. Mark 10, 9, 6. And remember, marriage is sacred. And we need to respect marriages because God wanted it that way. And it's so important to follow and respect a marriage between a husband and a wife as designed by God. Well, thank you. Thank you for everything. And continue to share. And if you know somebody that will be getting married, or if you have sons or daughters, make sure that you pass this on to them so that they know what marriage is all about and that how sacred marriage is. Thank you once again for subscribing and sharing.